What is up and is going on guys? My name is Simpsy and welcome back to some more Westeros Total War. Now, we have been ambushed by a bunch of Lannisters here. Now, I was moving through the Westerlands trying to pick apart the last settlements. I thought Silver Hill was actually, um... Well, I knew there was one stack floating around here and I thought it fled back to Silver Hill. I moved Brynden Tully up, the Blackfish, and we got ambushed by Captain Tyrek and a fair amount of Lannisters. I did order resolve the Battle of Hornvale and the Battle of Case. Nothing really to show, to be quite honest. Most of the Lannisters are dead. Um, I do believe there's only Kevin Lannister at the moment. But uh, yeah, we've got three stacks here. Man, there's some people online. I'm just going to appear offline. Uh, if you're quite curious to know how many hours I have, I have 2,444 hours on Kingdoms. Um, that is not a 100% accurate because... Um, what was I doing? Because my game glitches for some reason, and um, when every time I play Medieval, unless I restart my computer, it just says I'm playing me Medieval. So people must think I play Medieval just constantly. I have 2,000 hours on Medieval Kingdoms and on the vanilla, which is just fucking crazy. I don't know what it is with Steam. But uh, yeah, we're being ambushed here, which I don't think I have... Oh, I probably have been, but I can't remember the last time... Oh, fuck. There's no, like, deployment. The last time I got ambushed... Well, this is actually not too bad because we can actually fight up against this this wall. So what do we got here with the Lannisters? Their outrider cavalry. And they've got their basic armor and whatnot. So where's my cavalry? How many units of cavalry? We've got three. One's at the back of the column. If we could somehow like we could just like fortify ourselves in here, which actually probably wouldn't be too bad of a position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my archers and my cavalry um, to hold. I'm actually going to try. I, the the thing is, yeah, maybe we're just better off trying to en just engage the enemy. Just go for a big fucking charge. Try and neutralize my cavalry, uh, their cavalry with my cavalry, and just try to hit them. Um, uh, where is the blackfish? And I'll put the blackfish and bracken, uh, just out a bit. Like, just try to hold the line a bit. Yeah, I think the best chance is just, just trying to break their main center. Where are my archers? That's actually not too bad. My archers on the top of these hills. So I'm going to send... Okay, I'm going to keep my archers. That actually works probably better for me than what they normally would. I don't really want these guys to be absolutely minced, so... Just pop you here. Archers can sit there, but I will get my cavalry to engage. Everyone should be running. Unpause, lads. And we'll get some morale boosts up if we can. But we've still got two stacks in reserve. The Lannisters mustn't have too many left. So my cavalry is going to engage their cavalry. We should be able to mince through their outrider, their outriders quite easily. We're going to have to watch out for that spearman hitting us in the rear though. Oh, that's going to be devastating if we don't get out there quick enough. Okay, archers, I want you to pick targets. So I want you to aim, probably aim for the cluster in the center. While you're doing that, I will reform these guys up. We have a unit here that's not engaging. Okay, so what's up here? Armored Spearman, run you down. I might actually get my arch, my cavalry to do some flank. You know, I probably should rally up together, shouldn't I? But I can't afford to lose any general, especially this time. Okay, so what's here? Levy, armored. There's not actually that many archers in here. Okay, we're being pushed here. Wasn't there a spear unit here? Yep, okay, that's perfect. I want you to engage them. That's perfect what I want you wanted you to do. Okay, how are we going over here? They're actually routing. Well, if we can get rid of their cavalry units. We are putting in a lot of our heavy swordsmen there, so we probably shouldn't put everyone over there. My spearmen are doing all right. Archers, I'm hoping you're hitting your targets properly. I might actually get them in gay involved. Oh, the levies there. Uh, 
Archers, hit this unit here, which is just like not engaging our other ones. We've lost 9% to their 11, so it is pretty well even. I'm trying to think, can we get behind them? It might help. Because these are the heavy cavalry. Yeah, hit them. Keep going, lads. We're not doing the best over here. That spearman that came down from the hill is engaging them now, which is great. Push that cavalry over here. We'll try hit. We'll try, like, uh, do a hammer and anvil sort of thing. But we seem to be breaking them quite easily on this side, which is good. Uh, spearman. We're just going to have to watch out for the spearman, aren't we? Because I swear cavalry doesn't have the best reaction time compared to other game so their hedge knights actually breaking here their knights their head knights aren't broken but if we can try kill them they are routing okay how are we doing on this side they are heavily shaken they're routing shaken I'm gonna get my cavalry to come over and help okay come on lads we can continue this we've lost 15% to their 26, so it's going to be a bloody battle, but mind you, there's only two more stacks at Horn... No, is it Hornville? I think I took... Silver Hill we're trying to fight for. We, this is near Silver Hill. Cavalry management is horrific as usual. And those... Oh, fuck me. Get everyone out of there. Get the cavalry out of there. It's just that we get pinned down by armoured swordsmen and then they just mince through my cavalry. My swordsmen here should be able to carve up most of them now anyway. Because we actually have armoured fucking decent swordsmen, especially when they got that armour um, tier. The first armour tier they just wreck. Okay, how are we going everywhere else? Okay, so we are being engaged here. We just need to watch out for Spearman. That's the only thing. My Hedge Knights will be able to defeat their Hedge Knights. Easy. Um, how are we going here? Wavering. So this ambush is... It's alright so far. We haven't lost too many troops. It could be a whole lot worse. Is there a Spear unit somewhere I can just like send over just to help? But uh, the Blackfish here is coming in with a pretty big charge. He'll be able to knock back these Lannisters. For Lord Edmure and Brendan. We need to watch out for you coming back into the game. But we've utterly surrounded this Hedge Knight unit. And I'd be surprised if it holds on any longer. There's a lot of armoured spearmen here which aren't being engaged. They're getting way too close to my cavalry. There's only 14 left, so we can abandon that. Come on, lads. Get out of there. Move your asses. That's... Yeah, let's actually start speeding this up now. We've basically got them all into a retreat. There's a couple of units that are just shaken. Where's that cavalry? Once we're going to... Oh, yeah, get them. Get the armor fucking spearmen here. A good victory. We're going to try to capture as many as possible. Yeah, get up the hill. We're going to get there before them. There's what? Probably like 200 men just sitting here. Well, not sitting. Running up the fucking hill. We're going to gobble these big boys up. This is one thing I really do miss about Rome 2. I guess you can kind of capture prisoners, but I just love running them down with the cavalry. Okay. A good battle so far. Let's end it. Okay, so let's have a look at the stats. I don't know why I emphasized okay twice. Brendan Tully deployed 1,734. He lost 295 in the ambush. But uh, obviously with a command stature of Brendan. And obviously a battle-hardened 
army and uh, quite a fair few quality units. We had a lot of dismounted Riverland swordsmen. Captain Tyrek had no chance. Deploying 1,471, outnumbered, outgunned, and a fair result. I am so sorry. The words of a sorrowful man. Okay. Eight thousand for a ransom. Rejected anyway. Well, we defeated that full stack just outside Silver Hill. Ah, and it looks like Kevin Lannister, the Lord of Castle Rock, probably one of the last Lannisters, is uh, in Silver Hill. So what we're going to do now is we're going to rally up our four stacks here, and we're going to take Silver Hill in the next episode. I do have a full stack coming back to Castle Rock. Um. There's a lot of fighting in the, the Reach. Now, I just have a bad feeling about the Reach. Now that Renly Baratheon is dead, um, House, well, the faction Renly is under the command of Edric Storm, Robert Baratheon's bastard. So, um, who do we side with? Do we side with Robert's bastard? He, Robert's bastard probably, oh, he didn't, he's not, he's a bastard though. I was going to say, he probably had more claim to the Iron Throne than Renly, but no, Renly was a Baratheon and uh, Edric Storm is a bastard, unless he gets legitimized. So, who should we side with? Should we side with... I'm just thinking, because... Should we side with Stannis? Or Edric Storm? The thing is, we just want to get rid of Joffrey. We don't want Joffrey on the throne. Rob Stark's in the fucking north. He doesn't care anymore. He's sitting up at Winterfell. He's given up. Um, but the thing is, I have a really bad feeling about the Tyrells. Uh, we're pushing further into the Westerlands. And I feel like, even though there's a Greyjoy buffer here, they must have Craig Hall. Um, or maybe another couple of settlements in here. I just have a feeling that the Tyrells will attack us. And if we have to fight the fucking Tyrells, I'm going to be so angry. Um, because we've still got the Greyjoys, and we've still got Joffrey as uh, here, which the Arons are really carving apart the Crown Lands. But, um, yeah, it might not even be a thing. The only reason I would side with probably Edric would be to stop the Tyrells attacking me. But once we finish with the Lannisters, we're going to double time over to the Crown Lands, and dethrone Joffrey. Or we could actually go to, to the Iron Islands and take the Iron Islands and then be able to get more armies. But I think that we probably need to dethrone Joffrey first. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching if you've watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Remember to leave a like to support this new Simpsy Total War channel. And the House Tully series, I'm going to be bringing out you some, I'm going to be bringing you guys some more Third Age and um, Tully soon. I'm, I'm really tired, I'm rambling on. Anyways, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. My name has been Simpsy and uh, goodbye.